Hey everyone, I'm Jim Classic, and you are watching Geekin' It. And today I am doing another Transformers toy review. The Transformers Studio Series Grimlock from Age of Extinction. Now, Age of Extinction was the fourth chapter in the Bayformers movie series, and this leader class, Grimlock, is basically meant to be the ultimate of movie Grimlocks, since there have been three other movie Grimlocks, I mean, in the main line, two Voyagers, one from Age of Extinction, one from The Last Night, and the leader class from The Last Night, which I don't know anyone who bought that. I don't know anyone who wanted to buy that. Ugh, it was an awful... Uh, uh. Anyway, this version of Grimlock, leader class Grimlock, is supposed to be more screen accurate, which is the, the whole goal of the studio series. So, you know, let's go, let's go take a look at him in just a moment. And looking at Grimlock in the box, he is packaged in robot mode. Um, he's also in a strange, uh, position, at least his legs are. Uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing Grimlock here is going to be a little bit bigger than the box. I'm, I'm hoping he's going to be, you know, pretty massive of a figure, because, uh, you know, he kind of was in Age of Extinction. Uh, of course, we have the Beast Mode right here, Transformers, Age of Extinction, number seven, Studio Series, Grimlock, Hasbro, Takara, Tommy... Side, 07, you know, Studio Series, Art, Beast Art, I don't know, Leader Class and other languages. And big screen inspired scale, detail, and backdrop. Okay, all that stuff. Age of Extinction, Grimlock, Hong Kong Pursuit. You know, product shot, product shot, collect them all, blackout. Hmm, I think we kind of did him. And Starscream, which... Probably not going to buy him at all. Um, and of course, a picture in the back of the display and all that stuff. And more product art. That's kind of cool. I, I actually, I forgot to point that out with um, Blackout. But this little window is nifty noodles. Um, and so yeah, let's open him up. And here we have Grimlock in his beast mode. Surprise, surprise. Grimlock is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Who'd have thunk it? So... Um, this is a very, very Bayformers type of, you know, alt mode, robot mode, beast mode, whatever, you know. We have, um, well, he's, I've, alright, when it comes to Bayformers Grimlock toys, this is by far the best Bayformers Grimlock toy. Uh, he is not perfect. But he's not awful either. I do like this beast mode. Um, for starters, we do have this really cool, like, brushed paint job. It's, um, it's it dry brushed. It's dry brushed. It's a technique. It's to make things look a little bit rustier or more metallic and stuff like that. You know, I'm, hopefully the sheen is coming out on the light here. But it's just meant to, um... Give it that fake metallic look, or, or even a dirty look, depending on the color. Uh, we do have some basic... I, I want to say this is like a greenish, grayish color for the regular plastic. Like the, the, the beast arms, the lower half of the jaw, the tail. You know, there are some basic uncolored pieces. The feet. Uh, but for the most part, most of his body is covered in this dry brush technique. And it really works. It is a premium paint job. I love it. Um, let's see. Well, for the beast head, you know, we got those really cool beady red eyes. The jaw can open a little bit. Um, that's pretty cool. It does close a little bit. The little beast arms can uh, are on ball joints, so they can move around. Technically, he can do this. You know, I guess that can count as articulation. Um, legs, obviously, have articulation at the hips. There's a little bit of knee, a little bit of foot tilt there. Um, and tail really doesn't have any articulation. And then there's this. It's supposed to be the bottom part of the tail. If anything, this is Grimlock, you're drunk. Get up. 
Um, if anything, this is this is awful. This is terrible. Um, it's supposed to just be part of the tail. There's nothing to attach it to. There's there's nothing there. It's I, I don't know what the designers were thinking. They should have had a tab or something. Plug it up there, but nope, there's no tab. So literally gravity is the only thing that's supposed to um, have any effect, you know. And Well, gravity is working on this thing. But my point is they were probably hoping for a tight joint and, and friction to keep it up there, and that just never happened. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. That's just so annoying. That's very irritating. So remember what I said earlier about Grimlock being good but not perfect? Well, as I'm sure you've already seen, there are several gaps right there in the toy. Now, this is, you know, part of the robot mode right there. But, you know, it's, it's got a lot of holes. It's got a lot of gaps right here. That's not the best. Uh, if you can see, if you can see we're going to open up Grimlock's mouth. You can pretty much see right through his head. Um... Uh, like I said, it's not perfect. I never said this was perfect. I do like it, but it's certainly not perfect. <laughs> especially that. Especially that. Um, but I mean, I still like I still like this sculpt. This is a really cool beast head. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. Let's see if I can't zoom in. If I can't zoom in on that noggin, that ooh, that looks pretty good. I still don't know if the camera can see it, but there are, there is some red eyes right there. There are some red eyes. Let's try. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. But if you look, if you catch it right, if you catch the light just right, you can see the red eyes. But. Um, also, I'm sure you've noticed that there's a lot of spiky bits. Maybe I should pull out a little bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. As I'm sure you've noticed, there are definitely some spiky bits all over Grimlock. Um, as, as per usual for anything Bayformers, um, the horns and the teeth are all soft plastic. So you can just kind of just bite down and he's not really, you know, he's not really hurting me. He's not really hurting me. Uh, there's some soft plastic here as well on the on the on the knee, the pointy knee things, and I th and, and 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 of course the 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 <laughs> especially that that's also soft plastic. And I think that's it for the soft plastic. Um, there's soft plastic back here as well. But so yeah, um, as I said, it does have some gaps. But, I mean, I, I think overall the sculpting is really good on this beast mode. I mean, there's just, there's just so much bizarre alien mechanical detail. Like, there's even, like, these weird pipes and stuff. Right there, there's even these weird pipes and these, you see the little gears. There is all sorts of, like, just intricate detail strewn about. And, of course, the heavy armor plating, you know, the spines... Just, just anything involving that head is, is just so cool. Um, I suppose if I were to make one more disparaging remark about Grimlock is, you know what? Even though he is a leader class, even though, even though he is pretty big, I, I still don't think he's all that proportionate. Like, the tail should probably be, like, out to here or something. You know, wait, wait, wait there we go. Yeah, the tail should probably be out to here or something and more filled out in this area if, if we're really going for a greater proportion. And these these legs are pretty darn big. Um, but again, um, you know, I, in my opinion, I think a lot of the love went more towards the robot mode than the beast mode, which, you know, we will see in just a moment once we get to the comparisons. But, um, but yeah, but yeah, this is... I like it. It's flawed. It's flawed. But I like it. It's still a fun beast mode. You know. And I think you can still... I think you can still do stuff with this. I think this could still be display worthy. Um, if you do it right. 
Um, otherwise, I mean, as far as a Bayformers Dinobot goes, it's really cool. Um, I wish I should have brought my Voyager class Scorn out from storage to compare them to, but I did not. So, um, unfortunately, I just didn't do that. But there's, you know, of course, our leader class, Grimlock. Naturally, I had to bring out Masterpiece Grimlock. <laughs> there we go. Masterpiece Grimlock. Oh, hold on, hold on. Punched my camera, I'm sorry. You know what? There we go. Everyone's roaring. So, Masterpiece Grimlock. You know, Leader Class Grimlock. Here is the Voyager Class Age of Extinction Grimlock, which, as I'm sure you can see, just by looking at him right now, you can see why this guy is just a hundred times better. Um, <laughs> it's just a much better Grimlock. I should have brought my other Grimlocks out, but I didn't. And, of course, as a, just as a truck... You know, um, The Last Night, Optimus Prime. Because, you know, trucks and dinosaurs, they go well together. So, anyway, that's enough for a little bit of comparison. Let's just transform this guy into dino, uh, dino Robo. Robo Dino. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just transform this guy, okay? And here we have Grimlock in robot mode. Uh, I, I apologize for that little bit of a hiccup during mid-transformation. I, I literally forgot that in order to reveal the head, you have to open up the chest. It hinges out, and then it rotates the thing out, and then you get the head. I'm like, I'm trying to rotate the thing without popping out the chest, and I was just like, oh, what's going on? And I just, I had, just had a total, total brain fart. I'm glad I didn't break the thing. But anyway... So, Grimlock in robot mode. Again, we have that dry brush um, technique. It's the same color. <laughs> in fact, there's pretty much only three colors on this Grimlock. It is this greenish gray, the airbrush, maybe some red eyes. And that's it. That's it. This guy only has three colors. <laughs> but it, it, it looks good. I mean, first off, this is this is the Bayformer's aesthetic again. Just jagged metal, random bits. But uh, the good thing is this Grimlock, he is more cohesive than, let's say, Blackout was. Where, where Blackout was just a convoluted mess of a robot, uh, um, Grimlock here, though visually he's very busy, he's also a lot more cleaned up. And, you know... I guess you do kind of see that within the progression of the Bayformers movies. They go from convoluted garbage to an organized piece of garbage. But, I mean, this is really cool. This is this, this Grimlock stands really well. I mean, good, good solid, you know, feet. Um, I felt like Blackout wasn't the most solid at standing, but he's got these big feet. You know, it's the beast mode feet just turned around. He's got his little elf shoes <laughs> as a... As I like to think of them, um, you know the the hip skirt, which is you know part of the beast mode tail, which doesn't work, 
um, is right there. The cod piece keeps coming off, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if I'm just being rough with it or not, but anyway, let's check out articulation. So, for his head, which, my God, look at that head. That is a well-detailed and horrific thing. Uh, it's on a ball joint. It's on a ball joint because, you know, it can look up, down. It can't turn around very easily because of the odd shape of the head, but it has arms. The arms rotate. Both of them. See? Here we have arms. We have bicep swivel. We have some kind of bizarre elbow swivel. Okay, so let's that. Yeah, elbow swivel. Here we go. Uh, no wrist swivel because he has no right hand. Um, elbow swivel, bicep swivel, ah, wrist swivel, that's good, but he has, he has no weapons, he's got no weapons to hold in this one, which is a shame, waist, let's do the twist, bop, bop, okay, enough of that, um, I, apo I apologize, um, and, and, and removable crotch, completely just separates from the body, there we go. So, uh, hips are universal, can go out that far, <laughs> um, hold on, hold on, there, alright, so for some reason this is not pegging in properly, or it's just popping out very easily, anyway, <sighs> you're killing me, Grimlock, you're killing me, you are, you are causing my murder, just so you know, okay, his hips can go out there. It can go back. All right, this thing is just not. Okay. So I guess I found something that really annoys me about this guy is that his crotch just does not stay together. Whoa. All right. I'm done. I'm done playing with his waist. He has knees. He has an ankle pivot. And it's, like, it's, like, it's, on, it's on a ball joint. It is a ball joint. So he's got ankle articulation and all that stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. Just that was that was kind of annoying. Um, and it's still coming off. So I'm pretty sure you can get this guy in some pretty dynamic poses. He's, he's his joints, his joints are tight. Just not his pelvic area apparently. Oh, thigh rotation. He also has a thigh rot a thigh rotation as well. Thyroid problem? No, a thigh rotation. Grimlock, what are you doing? You're making me look bad. You're making me look bad in front of the internet. So you can get, I mean, it's kind of an interesting pose, I guess. Um, I mean, you can pose him. Obviously, I'm having some very weird issues with uh, the lower half of his body staying together. But he's a really cool um, robot mode. I mean, this this guy is badass. He just looks awesome. He, he, he He's very lightweight, actually. Um, and the cool thing is, this is one of the few leader class Transformers that Hasbro has released that doesn't have a gimmick other than transforming robot, um, which is great. I love that. I love the fact that it's, it, it doesn't need anything else other than transforming robot. You know, there's no lights and sounds, there's no mech alive, none of that. Automorph. It's just me Grimlock, me awesome. Another interesting thing that I don't know if anyone noticed. Did, did I do this right? Hold on. Hold on. No, I guess, yeah, that's that's it. That's not, yeah. Okay. So I don't know if anyone actually noticed, but Grimlock actually literally has two beast heads for shoulder plates. That is his actual beast head. This is actually part of the tail. In beast mode, this transforms. That just becomes part of the tail. You never even know it's there. <laughs> Unless you have eyes. <laughs> but either way, um, so uh, it's kind of interesting that he's got like a faux beast head for a right shoulder. Um, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just a, kind of a bizarre anomaly. But anyway, let's get to comparisons. And for some comparisons, let's actually start off with... Um, 
our leader class of Blackout. We'll start off with that. And right there between Grimlock and... Uh, oh, no, you don't. You, you, you done? You good? You good? Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Anyway, right off the bat, comparing Blackout here with Grimlock, even though they're both leader classes, um, Grimlock is obviously bigger. I mean, he is the Dinobot. He's supposed to be. But the thing is, with the Studio Series figures, they're all supposed to be as close to scale as uh, Hasbro and Takara could manage. That is why Blackout is short for a leader class because he's supposed to be taller for a Dinobot in, in this scale class. And um, several of the Deluxes are technically of different scale and the Voyagers are going to be slightly different scale all in line together. Anyway, just wanted to point that out. I thought that was kind of cool. So, also comparing him with... Bonk. <laughs> oh, I got him in the way. Oh, well. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. There. No one is supposed to overshadow the star of the show. So, uh, Masterpiece Grimlock. Ah. The Age of Extinction Voyager class Grimlock. And right now you can just see how crappy this guy is by comparison. And he's not... He's a little mistransformed. You have to forgive me. But even you can just see the difference right there between those two. And of course, The Last Night Optimus Prime. And... And Ratchet. And Ratchet. Just throw a rescue Ratchet in there. So, I mean, that's kind of where he stands in... in, in in toy form, and that's how he scales in in universe. So, yeah, I mean, you know, there he is. So, do I like Grimlock? Yeah, I, I think I do like Grimlock. Um, this is a really cool and much needed update to the Dinobot Commander. He looks like he did in the movies. Um, he does feel well in your hands. Um, I guess the only real complaint is, obviously, that crotch piece is a problem. The, um, what else was there? No, oh, that was it. Yeah, the crotch piece. That's, that's just, that's just kind of a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. And the tail. Oh, oh, I see. Look at this. Look at this. Now gravity. Now gravity took a vacation. Get the hell down there, you bastard. So, yeah, all right. The, the, the tail piece... And the crotch piece. Apparently all of Grimlock's problems is kind of, you know, are down there. And, um... Which, that's not, that's not cool. But anyway. Um... I, I do like this toy. It's really awesome. I, I have a feeling this just might be subjective. Um, I haven't heard of too many other people complaining about the crotch piece. The tail, nothing you can do about that. You know, unless you just want to twist tie it during beast mode. I don't know. But um, th this Grimlock is really cool. I'm happy I got him. And um, I, I do have to say, I I'm not planning on getting too many others um, of the Studio Series set. There is one more currently that I'm planning on doing, and that would be Voyager Class Optimus Prime. I will do him another day. But, um, and again, I'm waiting, I'm waiting to open him up too. But... The only other studio series I'm planning on getting is Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Megatron. Everything else so far, I'm just not interested in. I'm not that big of a Bayformers fan. I'm just trying to get some of the heavy hitters that I do like. Um, I, I will say this, though. When it comes to leader class figures, there is one that I think Hasbro should make for the Wave 2. And that would be Revenge of the Fallen Long Haul. The, the green um, dump truck. Um, you know, he had a really cool Voyager toy in Revenge of the Fallen. He, he did have a bit part in the movie. He was, you know, a character that did help get things moving. I, I, I think that should be the next leader class that they make. If they make a leader class long haul, I think that'll also make a lot of people happy. 
and it's a good robot mode. It's and then again, base form. It's, it's it's a good robot mode. It really is. I like it. I dig it. I really hope that's the next one that they do for Wave Two. If they if there is going to be a Wave Two, and if they make another leader class, I'm hoping for long haul. Anyway, I'm Jim Classic, and you've been watching Geekin' It.